Hi everyone, I hope you can hear me. Uh, we'll be starting this webinar at 12 p.m. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Jo Elliott, an Information Specialist at Doncaster College. This 10-minute webinar is a quick overview of how we have been using Google Hangouts in teaching and learning at Doncaster College. It is being delivered as part of the whole Digital Technologies Network annual Digital Spring event. Find out more about whole Digital Technologies Network go to digitaltechnologiesnetwork.co.uk or you can find out more by searching hashtag DTN on Twitter. If you have any questions, please feel free to go to the link at the top of the screen and I will try and reply before the end of the webinar. Alternatively, you can email me after the webinar at joe.elliot at don.ac.uk. So the content of this webinar is to show some of the uses of Hangouts that we've been using at Doncaster College and give you some basic knowledge of how to create and record a Hangout like we have um, in your te for teaching and learning. So the following are some of the educational uses that we've employed. One of the first um, groups to use Hangouts uh, were life skills. Uh, there was a tutor who couldn't attend college and students came to the LRC uh, and used iPads with technician support to communicate with the tutor. This was seen as being very beneficial to these students because continuity of people is comforting to them and they, they really enjoyed being able to co connect with their tutor even though he couldn't attend college. Uh, the, the, one of the other uses is the PGC um, groups. There was a student who couldn't attend the face-to-face -face sessions due to being seconded to another part of the country for a few months. So, and he didn't want to miss the work, so they um, arranged for a Chromebook to be in the class and he connected to the class via the Chromebook and basically sat in the lesson on on the Chromebook and participated in the face-to-face -face class. Learning resources have been using Hangouts on air via YouTube to record information skills sessions for distance learners on the BA Top Up Early Childhood Studies course. This was to try and give parity of service to students who weren't on campus as we do lots of workshops which they can't attend. The BA Top Up Early Childhood Studies and the BA Sports Science and Coaching Distance Learning Tutors are also using tutorials as an alternative, Hangout tutorials as an alternative to Skype. The Level 3 City and Guilds Award in Education and Training course have been using the chat function. Feedback from students is that they like to be able to communicate with each other using this function and tutors. And it was much better than using email. And finally, 
access GCSE math students have been using Hangouts for tutorials to support their face-to-face -face learning. So Hangouts are available from hangouts.google.com and anybody with a Google account, which you can create for free, can access Hangouts. However, to schedule meetings um, in advance with an individual or a group of people, we found that the best way to do that was via Google Calendar. So I'm just going to run through how to do that really quickly. So you go to Google Calendar. Uh, if you're not logged in already, you need to log in. And there I am logged in. You click on the plus symbol. You give your meeting title. You select your date and times. You make sure it says Hangouts here. You invite people who you want to come to the meeting. You can set notifications. You can alter various settings. Once you're happy with that, if you click on Save, it will ask you if you want to send an invitation. It will also tell you if you're inviting people outside your organisation, if you've got an organisational account. And then it puts it in your calendar for you to look at. Now, if you've got a Chromebook or you've got accounts, it will set it up um, and, some t and you should be able to get reminders of it. But alternatively, you just click on the appointment in your calendar at the appropriate time. And there is a link in there. There's a link to join Hangouts. But you should just click on that and it joins you to the Hangout as the organiser. Um, yeah, your guests, if you send them an invite, get an email a bit like this, an invitation, and they would just click on the link in the email at the appropriate time. It also gives them a, an opportunity to save it to their calendar further down the, um, the invitation. And this is what it looks like when you click on it and you click on to join and you can adjust your microphone and video, etc. to suit what you want to do. So one of the other ways we've been using Hangouts is um, to broadcast or record via YouTube. So you can broadcast a live, live event like this, or you can just use it for recording to share offline. And you do that via YouTube. So um, once you go to YouTube, if you're logged in to Google, you will be logged in to YouTube because it's a Google product. If not, you'd have to log in. Then you need to click on your little face you need to go to Creator Studio. You go to the drop down next to live streaming. You go to events. New live event. You give yourself a title. You can select when you want it. I'm going to do that for next week. You can add an end time if you want. You can give it a description. You can set it to public, unlisted or private. If you set it to private, 
only you can view, but you can actually share the link to emails or in this case, because I've got an institutional account, I can let everybody in the institution have access to it. If you set, set it to a listed or public, you can go in and get the embed link and um, share that link to social media or however you like. And once you've got your settings as you wish, you click on create event. And at the appropriate time, you just start Hangouts on Air, Hangouts loads up and you click on broadcast. Um, and it just does it. It's quite simple, really. So if you had a public or uh, unlisted one, you could click back onto your event beforehand. It tells you when it's live, going to be live and you can click on the share button and it'll give you the link. And that's how you can either share it to social media or any other way you like. So that's it. Thank you for listening. If you've got any questions, there's no questions on the Q&A, so I'm assuming that everybody's happy with what I've said. If you've got any other questions, you can email me at don.elliot at don.ac.uk.